Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another installment in the Miss Claire series. I know I have been slacking in the series in like I haven't uploaded a review on the Miss Claire products in a really long time. I think the last one was way back in May. So I'm really sorry for that. So today I have the Miss Claire eyeshadow pots review. So if you want to know my thoughts on this product then please keep on watching. So first of all, let's start with the packaging. Let me take something that you know doesn't get merged into my background. Let's take this. Yes. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's just a teeny tiny round um, container, and then you have to unscrew this, and then you have your product inside. And it says Miss Claire eyeshadow on top, and the number is written behind along with the ingredients, which I'm sure you need a magnifying mirror to read it. So I got a uh, couple of shades from here and there. I got this from Kumar store in Chikpete, um, Vibov store and Fashion Fox on Ibrahim Sahib street. I will link up in the description box below. The price varies here and there. In Fashion Fox it's like 150 bucks and in Kumar store it's just 95 bucks but when I first purchased it it was 85 bucks. I've seen uh, some Insta pages selling it for 150, 149, 130, 125. So the pricing is different in every store it just depends on the store that you go so this has two grams of product and I think Miss Claire products are vegan and they don't test on animals if I'm not mistaken I've seen the symbols on the Miss Claire soft matte lip creams so first of all let's start with the shade that I absolutely hate this is the shade 0855 and this is a white glitter but it's chunky it's you can't use this in your inner corner or brow bone on your eyeshadow even as a highlighter on your cheekbones you can't use it Am I in focus? Now I am. This is really, really horrible. I hate this shade. Um, yeah, that's about it. I don't like it. It's way, way, way too chunky. It, it looks normal on camera. I actually confused this for another shade. That is the shade that I actually wanted, but I picked this up instead. My fault, but still I hate the shade. The next shade that I have is 0655 and this is a beautiful warm orange shade which has gold flex to it. It's like it's stunning. It's beautiful. I did a whole tutorial on this. I will link it in the description box below so you guys can check it out. And the next shade that I have is 0751. This is a moss green shade. This is beautiful. If you have brown eyes, use green eyeshadow or anything green and it'll just make your brown eyes pop. I did um, my full face of makeup using products under 100 in that I used this eyeshadow and it looked so stunning. I still am planning to do a tutorial with this. So if you are interested, let me know. And the next shade that I have is uh, 0888 and this is a black which has silver specks in it but those silver specks are so sparsely distributed that they don't like show up like silver specks they're like here they're here and there but they're not really visible so you could use this as a matte black I have and it, it works beautifully I actually used this in my um, navy blue something makeup tutorial I will link it in the description box below it works very well if you want to deepen up your outer V or your crease or something the next two shades that I have are kind of out there uh, this is the shade 0507 and this is a matte red shade put this in the crease just very slightly and you know like a golden eyeshadow all over your eyelid and it looks so stunning it's just so beautiful this is a matte shade gorgeous the last shade that I have is 0502 which is a beautiful magenta like like a cranberry shade but not really it's it's so gorgeous it's stunning I haven't actually used this yet but I've swatched it with brush on my hand like I've done brush swatches and it swatches beautifully I actually have an idea like a fall look to do with these two eyeshadows like a red and a berry shadow so if you are interested do let me know now coming to the longevity, I have worn them without eye primer. I've worn this black eyeshadow without eye primer for a good 8 to 10 hours and it did not budge. At the end of the day, I had to scrub it and remove it. It does last for a really, really long amount of time. Uh, they do have slight kick off. They are soft, they are buttery, they are creamy. They do have slight kick off, but uh, that doesn't really bother me because the price 
this is so inexpensive I'm definitely going to buy more shade these look beautiful they swatch well they play very well on your eyes you don't you with an eye primer it'll look better but even without an eye primer you could get away with like five to six hours of wear with an eye primer I think it lasts for a really 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 long amount of time so I don't really have any cons to say my only con is probably the pricing depends upon the place that you go to but otherwise I love these eyeshadows so much these single eyeshadows and for the price oh my god I just pulled my hair so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found this review useful if you did then please give this video a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below I have all my social media links in the description box below if you want to make if you want to follow me then you can definitely check it out please like share comment subscribe and all the jazz and i shall see you in my next one till then bye the prices vary here and there hello and then nale madhyana irthini and then um, the next shade oh, oh. oh come on is that even audible I just realized I spoke everything that I wanted about the shadows and I realized I am not recording damn it damn it but they're soft they're powdery no <laughs> my CPU is coming tomorrow okay where was I so the price varies